What is this? A puzzle for ants? Hi everyone, welcome back to Karen Puzzles. So from all the way back there, you probably can't even see the puzzles that I'm gonna be doing today because they are so tiny. Like, look at this. Here is a quarter for scale and they literally come with tweezers because the pieces are just that small. Each piece is literally a quarter inch long or for our international viewers, less than a centimeter long. I should probably tell you what they are. So these are the Lazels puzzles. They are tiny metal puzzles that are crafted almost like jewelry. So the thing about these puzzles and why it is like extra exciting that I'm solving them today is that they are not easy to get your hands on. This is a small business run by Peter and Kayla Clyde, and they're not like mass producing these puzzles. For the early designs, they only made a hundred of each puzzle, and then for their newer puzzles, they changed it so that each puzzle is only available for one hour. So I feel very lucky that they sent me not one, not two, but four of their puzzles. So I asked them which one they recommended I should start with, and they suggested the H256BG. So let's bring the camera a little closer so that we can take a closer look. So I'm gonna get back to the puzzle in just a sec, but first, let's talk about the puzzle of our minds as I tell you about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. It is a time to fight the stigma and provide support to anyone who is struggling with their mental health. For me personally, you know, I tend to think that I'm doing okay day to day, but then when I was signing up for better help and they were asking all of these questions of like, do you struggle with loneliness and isolation? Do you struggle with having relationships? For so many of them, I was like, oh, you know, maybe it would be nice to talk to a neutral third party about this kind of thing. But I mean, I know that I'm busy, I know you're busy. So the great thing about BetterHelp is that they are an online therapy service. They do video, phone calls, live chat sessions. So you don't even have to be on camera if you don't want to. So this Mental Health Month, if you or someone you know is struggling, please check out BetterHelp. If you use my link, you will get 10% off your first month. So I'm gonna have the link down below in the description. And now let's get back to our puzzles. So one more thing before I get to the puzzle. Um, yes, I did indeed wear my most sparkly shirt in order to match the puzzle. So as you can see, you don't just get the puzzle. They also include this velvet mat for you to do the puzzle on. You also get a little cleaning cloth that has the logo on it, as well as this bag to hold everything. And of course you get the tweezers because these pieces are just so tiny. But there's actually a second reason why they have the tweezers. Fingerprints interfere with the way that light interacts with the oxide layer of the titanium. So you might notice there's um, one thing missing. They don't actually give you a full image of the final puzzle. If you really wanted to find it, you could go look at their Instagram and their website for some clues of what you're putting together. But I'm just gonna you know, wing it and see what happens.
Wow, I haven't even started putting the puzzle together yet. And I can already tell that this is one of the most beautiful puzzles I have ever done. I'm not really keeping track of my time because I've been moving the cameras around so much that it just wouldn't be accurate. And this is the type of puzzle where you don't want to rush through it. Like it's so beautiful that you just want to take your time and just be so meditative and deliberate with every single piece that you move. Now, you may have noticed that in my quest to have a rainbow of pieces, I did the sorting a little bit wrong. I'm pretty sure that the yellow and the light blue are the two edges of the puzzle and that this pink and then this like purpley pink are gonna meet in the middle, but that's fine. That's what happens when you don't have a picture to work off of. So I'm so ready to actually start piecing this one together. Well, I finished the edge and how pretty is that? It is so wild that you can get all of these different colors on the surface of metal. I'm actually kind of glad that I did the sorting wrong because it gave me this beautiful design of all of the pieces like coming out from the edge. So I will say that actually putting in the pieces with the tweezers was a little more difficult than just sorting the pieces with the tweezers. But as you get used to it, it gets a little bit easier. Um, I would recommend having a second pair of tweezers nearby because at first, when I had two pieces that were stuck together, I used my fingers to separate them and I can already see fingerprints from where that happened. So I actually think I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to finish this. I just want to draw out the experience as much as I can because I think this puzzle is so beautiful. Also, my shirt is really itchy. It's pretty, but it's itchy. So I'm gonna wear something different tomorrow. <laughs> You guys, I feel like I'm playing Operation, but like <laughs> the grown-up luxury version of Operation. I'm about two thirds of the way done and putting in the final piece is going to be the most satisfying thing I have ever done in my entire life.
All right, down to the last four pieces. I have three cameras going. Oh, it's so pretty. Here it goes, the final piece. Wow, it's so pretty. I really have to clean it though because I got my fingerprints all over it. Oh no. Oh wait, it's drying. Okay, I didn't ruin it. I didn't ruin it. Well, that was one of the most beautiful puzzles I have ever done. Even though it's only 250 pieces and doesn't really take that long, I will for sure be doing this one again. Although maybe next time um, without filming it, so I don't have to be like hugging my iPhone the whole time. <laughs> And here's the thing that I love the most about this puzzle. So with most tiny puzzles, um, if this was cut out of cardboard, it would just be impossible to get a lot of detail in the connectors. And so with tiny puzzles, you end up having pieces that are pretty much interchangeable with each other. But since this one is made of metal and they use a laser to cut the pieces apart, you just get so much detail. So there are no issues with false fits. And I really was able to use the shape of the pieces to figure out what I was looking for next, which is necessary when you have a puzzle that has no design and just colors. Oh, also he told me that for these where they only made a hundred of each one, they numbered the back of one of the pieces. So I got number 65. So if anyone who's watching this has uh, 64 or 66, we are puzzle siblings. All right, so I think I'm gonna do a second one here in this video. So this is the Niello 144. So it's only 144 pieces, but it looks like the pieces just have kind of a swirly, like silver design on them. So I won't have the color differences to be able to sort the pieces up front. So we'll see if this one ends up being even more difficult, even though it's a hundred fewer pieces. <laughs> So I just finished flipping over and sorting the pieces. As you can see, these are all edge pieces and they have these kind of square little decorative knobs on the edges. And then here we have all of our inside pieces and the pattern is so wild that I might end up sorting these by shape just so I can see what I'm looking at. Oh, so here again, this is what happens when you don't have a picture to work off of. Okay, so you can see I'm noticing something is wrong. And there we go. Now I have enough edge pieces to finish making a square. All right, 
right, so after I finished the edge, I decided to take a little break. So today is a brand new day, but I will confirm that so far, this puzzle has definitely been more difficult than the colorful one. Like in the montage, I always try to use the most satisfying shots of the correct pieces going into place. But I have so much footage of this one, of me just trying wrong piece after wrong piece, but I'm still really enjoying it. And as you can see, I already sorted all of the pieces by shape. So I think I'll easily be able to finish this up this morning. So let's get back to it. Okay, so here I got a little bored with this silver puzzle and I decided to set up my phone to reflect some color off of the top. So this is what I'm calling the party puzzle. All right, that's enough party. Let's go ahead and finish it up. You guys, when I'm not adjusting the cameras, I have literally spent all morning exactly like this. <laughs> this puzzle is no joke. It is so much more difficult than I expected. Oh man, I'm down to the final four pieces. I feel like I have been on a journey with this puzzle. That was three hours just this morning, so just to the inside of the puzzle, which I think is by far the longest a 150 piece puzzle has ever taken me. Okay, wait a minute. I just had an idea. Um, are these puzzles not the perfect size for Puzzle Craze Barbie? <laughs> Look at that. Okay, let's try it. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> she got the piece in. I fully humbly apologize to the Lazels team for comparing their beautiful handmade art puzzles to Puzzle Craze Barbie. <laughs> So what do you think of these teeny, teeny, tiny puzzles? As I said before, you can't get these specific puzzles anymore because they were a very limited run, but I'll have all the links to Lazel's puzzles right down below. So let me know if you wanna see me solve the other two puzzles that they sent me. One of them is 473 pieces, so that's like another level up from the ones I did today. And before I go, there's one more thing I wanted to tell you about. 
There's a new book out called The Puzzler by AJ Jacobs. It's basically about all kinds of different puzzles. So there's a chapter on crosswords, rebuses, anagrams, Rubik's cubes, and a chapter on jigsaw puzzles. And guess who's in it? That's right. It's me. So if you want to get yourself a copy, um, again, the link will be down below. All right, your code word for the comments will be miniature. Happy puzzling, and I'll see you all in the next one.